Hi everyone, Sandy Diana. Teacher by day, mask maker, mask maker by night. Well, it's today, it's the daytime I'm making masks. And um, thought I was all caught up and I wanna try to make, a, make some other things, but instead I'm still making masks today, so that's okay. But these masks were ordered and I've gotten them all to this point where they are all completely finished, except for these are to be personalized. So I ended up with 64 masks that I've made for Valentine's and um, St. Patrick's Day, and I still have to iron those. I haven't gotten to those yet, but um, I do need to get these monogrammed because I have customers waiting for them, especially these Mickey Mouse ones and these purple ones. So I'm just gonna kind of run through, whoops. I'm gonna run through how I get them done. So I first, I've, I, this is my favorite way to do them. I have two different fast frames and I've already hooped um, already put attached them to what I want and I think I just picked up the wrong one. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I try to get two things done at one time and I like to tape them both best. I've tried many ways of trying to um, mount them and I find that this is the best way. I use sticky, the sticky paper with the fast frames and then I tape it in place so it doesn't shift around while I'm trying to do it. So I'm gonna start with this one I've already, um, I have an Avance 1501 C2020 and I love it. Um, I think I, I chose this one because it has a huge sewing area and it offered one of the largest sewing areas that I could, that I could get. And I've seen lots of people wanting to know what is the best sewing machine or best embroidery machine that you can get. And here's my best thing. I started out with an SE 400, a brother SE 400, four by four frame. I was afraid to get anything bigger because I wasn't sure if I would really, really work and work out and learn what I needed to learn on the embroidery machine because I was very scared about it because I didn't know how to do, use it. I'm, I mean, I'm an excellent seamstress, but knew nothing about embroidery and my husband was willing to buy it for me. So I'm like, oh, don't buy the most expensive, especially if it just sits there. Anyway, it has not sat there. I have used it and used it and used it and I have made incredible things with it. Anyway, here's what I would tell you. I went from, by the way, I went from the Brother SC400 to this because the one thing that I did learn from it was your hoop size is everything, everything. And if you can't, stitch it out because it's too small, then you limit yourself. So I know that they're very expensive and I'm do, I've invested in this and I'm just figuring this is my future business when I retire in three years. And so I went ahead and made the investment. Not everybody can do that. However, what I would say that is I wouldn't get a four by four. I would try to get something bigger because especially if you would like to do appliques, Appliques take up a lot of space and you need a bigger hoop to do an applique. And a four by four, you're gonna, you're gonna get maybe an applique maybe about that big around, seriously. So if you wanna do appliques, don't get a four by four. Pay the extra money, learn how to use it because if you can learn how to use a four by four, you can learn how to use um, one that comes with a five by seven frame. I think that's the 800, the Brother a PE 800. Um, I'm really not sure about all of it, but I would just say that the minimum I would get is a four by seven. I mean, a five by seven. That's the smallest hoop frame I would get. Well, my first thing that I have to do on my machine, let me see if I can bring you around here so that you can see my machine. So this is the Avance. And, you know, I see lots of videos that they've done from um, the Coldesi and it's, you know, they're okay, but it, they don't do really what I do with my machine. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do some instructional videos is so that you can see what I do. Well, the first thing they tell you to do is to go ahead and position your needle on needle position one, it is. And I kind of cheat with my frame and I first have to go to here where my disc is and get my file. And I've got lots and lots of files. Uh, let's see. So I've got to just go ahead and save them because this is what I'm working on right now. 
and I'm gonna have to add my video, stop my, pause my video long enough so that I can go figure out which one I need for this one. I've already forgot. I think it's the L and L. But anyway, I'm gonna save it to here. And then here are my designs. And like I said, I need to figure out which one goes with this because I normally, I normally tag them and I didn't. So hang on just a second. I don't know how to really pause a video and then start it back up. So I'm going to, let's say this, this might be part one and then I want to come back and I'm going to add part two. So let me get the right thing and then I'm going to watch it, let you watch it stitch out. I'll be back. Bye.